There are a few reasons. Uh, the first one is that there are generally most companies and um, industries will have fluctuating call volume uh, that is hard to identify or put trends around. You're also going to experience um, experience like spikes in volume that are hard to trend as well. Uh, another challenge that is impacting is uh, the desire to be both employee focused and business focused. Sometimes organizations want to be um, so employee favorable that it doesn't necessarily meet the business needs uh, in terms of workforce management and scheduling and things like that. Um, also, there's sometimes a lack of WFM expertise within um, within the organization that can lead to some data integrity challenges as well. Uh, what what types of skills should be included or should not be included from a reporting standpoint? Um, how to calculate things? Uh, sometimes just that lack of workforce expertise can be a challenge to organizations. The biggest pain point you'll see that indicates inefficient scheduling is when you are not meeting your service levels, but you are also not meeting occupancy targets. And what I mean by that is you'll have parts of the day that are really busy and your agents are burned out, and then you'll have other parts of the day where they're sitting and they're available and you're meeting service levels. So there's an imbalance there where you're paying for excess staffing, but also not meeting the service level. The metrics that are impacted by poor scheduling will be occupancy, abandon rate, service level, average speed of answer. Inefficient scheduling is going to impact customer satisfaction. Um, when customers are waiting longer to get to an agent or um, sometimes not able to get through to an agent at all. It's also going to impact your employee experience, uh, which will drive negative attrition and uh, then you'll have less agents or less staff available to take those calls to begin with. Some of the tools that you could use to improve scheduling would be what I like to call non-traditional schedules. If you think of a traditional schedule as a eight hour shift for five days a week, non-traditional shifts or schedules could be four, 10, shi four, 10 hour shifts or split shifts or fluctuating shifts. You can also offer uh, shift trades or shift bids. Um, those are a number of tools that you could use. So a shift bid is going to be um, done usually quarterly, but at some frequency that works for your organization based on um, your call arrivals. Um, for example, if you see higher call volume in um, like the winter months where you're going to see some seasonality and you're onboarding a lot of agents, that would be a good time to do a shift bid um, or just quarterly. The other thing that you want to consider is performance. So uh, agents with the best, best performance should get the option to pick their schedule first. Uh, you'll generally want to pick four to five metrics that you rank the agents based on their performance to give them. Um, and then uh, make sure that you're communicating clearly and that the agents understand and ex understand the expectations for how they can get the best shift available and then when the next opportunity is.